Hey Saj, how are you? Um, sorry, I needed to take some time for myself. Uh, my guides did not want me to be really active on social media for a little while, so had to pull back, but here I am for your reading. Hi, hello. In my description, you'll find my website where I have um, stuff. Uh, if you're interested in connecting more with my energy, I make products. I also do personal readings. I will open up to personal readings for everybody on October 1st. I'm still making my way through my wait list, but I've almost completed that. So very excited about that. It might be a little bit earlier, but I will let you guys know um, if that were to happen. What else do I need to tell you? My Venmo is at the very bottom of my description. I accept Venmo and PayPal. <laughs> if you'd like to tip me, people like to tip sometimes. It's good karma and it does help connect to your readers. Any money that you put into um, benefiting your personal growth is a good idea. So um, if you like my energy and these readings are beneficial to you, it, it does help to um, tip any reader, any spiritual worker that you connect with. You don't have to, but if you, you feel called to do so, that's available to you. Okay, we're gonna do astrology cards and then clarify. We're gonna see what you guys have coming in. Okay, what do we need to know for the Sag? The first card that comes out is um, Jupiter in Capricorn. Okay. What I'm seeing just from the first card and the bottom of the deck here, be careful with your finances, um, Scorpio. I do get that you are going to be expanding because it, it's like Capricorn, Capricorn. It is um, Sun, Moon, and uh, Jupiter and Capricorn. Capricorn is the 10th house of like your social status, also your career. Um, be practical right now and... Um, Conscious, conscious of the energy that you're putting out. Uh, sun and um, Cancer, resourcefulness. So with your sun here, that's what your focus is on. So right now your focus is on your 10th house, growing your social status, growing your career, and then being resourceful. I do get that you are going to be expanding when it comes to your career, when it comes to your social status, but there is karma tied into this and some cycles need to close out. So be um, careful with finances. Like if you're expecting a promotion, don't like go, go spend a lot of money, you know, be, be careful with um, what you are and all resources, not only like your financial resources, but what you are putting your time and energy into, because I do get that you are going to be expanding quite a bit when it comes to, again, your 10th house. So either um, social status or your career are both where don't spread yourself too thin because it, it might be a situation like, okay, let, let's let say um, this can be like the holidays are coming up. You know, a lot of offices have holiday parties where, you know, different um, people will be coming to these holiday parties. It's going to be, um, um, what is it called? I can't think of the word where it's like an opportunity to um what is it like a work event where it's an opportunity to uh <laughs> meet people that could that could be helpful in your career you know what I mean I can't think of I can't think of what it's called um it's an opportunity to expand socially you know what I'm saying anyways okay let, let's say that the holidays are coming up you um, spread yourself too thin. You um, don't make it to a, a work party, you know, some sort of like socializing event that at that work party, there would have been somebody there that's like your boss's boss that would have met you and been like, hey, we actually have this new position opening up that you would be perfect for. You get what I'm saying? Like, Make sure you're prioritizing your resources. So not only finances, but also your time and energy. Pull back a little bit from things if you don't see, you know, um, don't see it progressing where you would like for it to progress. You get what I'm saying? Uh, in terms of like relationships too, you know, in terms of what you're putting your time and energy into, pull back a little bit 
and have some control when it comes to what you would like to expand in your life right now because there is an opportunity coming towards you that would allow you to expand when it comes to your career especially and I get here if you play your cards right it's going to end up very well for you somebody um somebody is going to be coming into like money too so um 10th house is also like you know connections you get what I'm saying? Somebody is going to be expanding when it comes to people are going to be seeing you, wanting to connect with you. You're all of a sudden going to be popular and you're going to have opportunities to connect with people that can advance your career. So make sure if you are in that type of energy, pull back from certain things, you know. An unfortunate, an unfortunate side of this. Let's say that you are... Um, going with the, the same, you know, holidays are coming up. A lot of places are having work parties. There's going to be opportunities to um, meet with people, you know, schmooze people, get to know people that, that might be able to set you up to, you know, uh, a position you would like to move into. So if I, I know that that's going to be coming up and I know that, you know, oh, this person is going to be there. I might get to meet them. If it's in a professional setting, you know, maybe you not have like your Twitter with your first and last name connected to your Gmail account that's on your card. Um, have that up and open and just tweeting ma madness. You know, I hate that it's like that, but it is like that. So, you know, if these people meet you, make sure that I would just say, Sag, have business cards on you if you have them. You know, just, just kind of like be in an energy where your eyes and ears are open for people um, coming into your life that would be able to advance you. And I, I don't mean that in like a taking advantage of people way at all. I get that there are people that are going to want to help you. It's um, Saturn and Sag. It's uh, karma for the Sag. Um, finances coming in. Ships are going to be coming in for you. And it's going to be through connections here. And, and your, again, your social status does come into play. So, um, Maybe like, you know, make your stuff private for now, change your name on things, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of people do that when they're like applying for colleges, uh, for school or, um, you know, I have friends that when they were taking the bar, they deleted all social media or, you know, they, they changed their name around a little bit. They made it private, just kind of pull your energy back a little bit. Um, and that's only like, if it's a situation where, you know, you have to be professional and you get what I'm saying. And I hate that it's that way. I really, really do. But that's the world that we live in that, you know, they look you up. And if the first thing they see is <laughs> I, <laughs> I went to, uh, I was hanging out with some friends this past weekend and one of the people I was hanging out with, he kept making jokes about butt chugging. <laughs> And um, I was working with Sardinas in the, the last reading, and he's, he's still here. And <laughs> I wanted to say, the, the guide said, Sardinas says stuff like this. If, if you work with Sardinas, he's, he's the god of the wild. He, he's um, vulgar sometimes. Don't have your social media open and you wild it out on social media with your first and last name. If like the first thing you do is when you meet your boss's boss, you hand them your card, they go and look you up and they see a photo of you on social media, <laughs> butt chugging, you know, don't, <laughs> you know, doing a keg stand, you know, uh, <laughs> doing something dumb, dial it back a little bit because I do get that you're, um, the forefront here at the forefront is your social status. Those are the cards that are coming out. I'm practical with moon to emotion. Make sure that you are um, keeping your emotions in check too. I know it's hard for the Sag. The Sag is feisty and you know, people love that about the Sag. But again, especially if you're going, cause I do, I get strongly, somebody is up for like a promotion in like a, a corporate setting here. You don't want to be flying off at the mouth you know, um, if, if you're trying to get a promotion, dial it back a little bit. And I hate to say that, but you can't be yourself in like a nine to five. You really can't. Unless that, that's your thing, you know, unless, you know, it, it's your, you know, if you're a comedian and that's your job, it's very different than working corporate nine to five where you kind of have to like blend. You get what I'm saying? So 
I get especially, uh, <laughs> I don't know why this is, this is the energy though, because somebody has karma coming where uh, you are going to be receiving financial blessings and, and a lot of people it's coming in terms of your career, but it requires you to be practical here in Mercury and Aries. Be, because um, it's restless. Don't get to where you're, um, dial it, dial it back, Sag, dial it back. <laughs> be conscious of the way that you're presenting yourself to others. Because uh, Moon and Leo appreciation, a lot of people are going to be showing appreciation for you, but uh, the birds, the birds gossip. So just be conscious of that. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people are going to have their eyes on you soon. And for a lot of you, it, it's, it's in terms of your career. So make sure that you're putting your best foot forward and not acting crazy unless that's your thing. Again, if you are... Um, if you're somebody that like you're having kind of a, a wild personality is what you do, that's one thing. If you're a influencer, if you're a comedian, if, if that's your lifestyle, if you are looking for a promotion within the corporate setting, you know, make sure you're dialing it back a little bit, especially where the holidays are coming up because the holidays are when they're going to be work events, when they're going to be people visiting the office and you kind of want to put your best foot forward. Anyways. There are a lot of people that are going to be showing appreciation for you, especially when it comes to your creativity. But again, this is the moon here. So the, the moon is coming with practicality. So um, being mindful of your emotions. Don't... Um, people are coming towards you. Blessings are coming towards you. But I do get that some of you have a, a gossip around you. So don't... I just keep going back to the work thing, but take it how it applies. Okay, you're up for a promotion. You want a promotion. You um, you are somebody that is kind of like uh, impulsive at the mouth here. Aries, Mercury. You, um, you gossip. It's all in good fun, but you have another coworker, you know, in the next cubicle over that's nosy and that overhears you saying something and is going to try to go and like, you know, um, go tell the boss, mention to the boss's boss that, hey, she was mentioning this, he was mentioning this. You get what I'm saying? Anyways, <laughs> I know, move on. There's somebody here, um, Jupiter and Scorpio, because there is a manipulator around you. That That's the one. <laughs> Your, you know, your career is in focus, blessings are coming to you, good things are coming to you, but there is a warning here. Don't get restless. Don't get restless when it comes to how you're being perceived by other people and um, say be impulsive when it comes to your speaking, your thinking. Um, and also I, I get for some of you like spending. Like, you know, you're expecting to get a promotion and you go ahead and, and, you know, do a little shopping spree because you think you're going to get that promotion and then you end up not getting that promotion and then you, you know, pop off at the mouth and have the little, you know, thing. It could have been that, you know, this, this has happened before and okay, I used to work in property management. Um, you would get, you know, um, promoted to assistant manager. I got promoted to assistant manager. Now, assistant manager at a small property is not as big as a promotion as when you move to a big property. So my first step up was a, a smaller property and it was kind of, you know, a rough around the edges property. I wanted to go to the big bougie property because then all the problems I would have is like, you know, uh, bougie white people problems. <laughs> You know, like <laughs> your, your, your Yorkie is too loud. You know, it, it's very, I would have to deal with Karen's. Yes. But where I was working was like, is not a, not a good property. It's, it sucked. And the air conditionings were really bad. So summer, it was like, I had to try, you know, to soothe people because their air, air ACs kept going out because the ACs had not been replaced since the seventies. Did I enjoy doing that? I hated it because I always had to be the one that was like, well, cause you know, I can't be like, this is fucked up, dude. I hate that they do this. They won't do repairs. This company is cheap. You know, you can't do that. I wanted to go to the good property so I could get paid more. And that the problems I would have to do with is people just being condescending, not people having real problems that I couldn't solve for them. And I had to be the bad guy constantly. You get what I'm saying? So 
my first step up was the smaller property and they were making space for me at the larger property, but I needed to wait. Now, if I would have thrown a fit, it would have been an issue because I, I would have put a uh, like, you know, bad taste in their mouths. And what actually ended up happening is I got a job offer across the country at like a luxury mall to work in property management, commercial property management. It was like, you know, I was, I was aiming for like a little step up. I got the offer that was like a huge step up, a huge, like a lot more than what I was getting paid, you know? And if I would have thrown a fit about the fact that I did not get that small bump up that I wanted, that I got a medium bump, it, it would have thrown everything off because one, I wouldn't have been grateful. And two, I would have, um, I put it, could have possibly got fired. I could have, you know, made these people not like me to where uh, when they call to get references, they're telling them, well, she has a really nasty attitude, you know? It's that type of energy. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> you get it. Be careful because, you know, you, you don't get exactly what you want sometimes because something is better coming for you. So be, be smart about it. You get what I'm saying? That's... <laughs> I know I'm like focused on this, but this is the energy and I'm, uh, I think it's exciting. Yeah. Nine of cups. Somebody's about to get a wish granted. Hermit, king of pentacles, nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Yeah. Follow your intuition here. Uh, two swords under that. Follow your intuition. Uh, Capricorn again, somebody is about to get, um, uh, you're about to get money coming to you. The hermit, um, could be a Virgo. You're going to get what, you, what you've been because um, Nine of Cups is wishes fulfilled, the Hermit. Somebody, because um, it's, it's alchemy and manifestation. No, alchemy and transformation. Rules natural events, helps with spiritual progress. Okay, I thought it was manifestation, but it, it was, you know, I saw manifestation, so manifestation. Somebody went Hermit mode and has been focusing on themselves, working on themselves. You are about to get paid out for that. Uh, you have a, a a wish granted coming here and it's going to put you in a good position uh, with pentacles wise, even if you're a woman, even if you're a feminine, because king is somebody that makes, you know, takes action. So this is somebody that is taking action when it comes to money. This is like boss energy here. It's been a long time coming. It's been slowly coming towards you because nine of pentacles, you had to kind of detach from people in your life that were bringing bad energy. Somebody has kind of cut off people. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. What did I say? There's a turn in fate coming for you. Somebody has like a, a good financial situation coming. What did I say? Ace of pentacles. You do. You have money coming towards you. It's a, for a lot of you, it's a promotion. It's because you um, cut off people that were draining your energy. So it's like now all of your light energy is going towards what you want. And again, with your social standing, if you have a lot of people around you that gossip and talk shit about you, they can be thwarting opportunities that you don't even know about, you know? They can be t getting in people's ears and telling them bad things about you that it's not even true. They're just jealous and trying to block you. And somebody is very manipulative and trying to stop you from expanding. This can also be, you know, somebody uh, that you're in a relationship with. Let's say that you're in a relationship with somebody. If they're very manipulative, this is somebody that's like going to be sabotaging your growth. A lot of people do this. Karmics will do this. You know, they want you to not make more money. They don't want you to do better for yourself because then you might leave them. Then you, you might want better for yourself and they're not treating you well. So they're going to sabotage you. They're going to sabotage your growth. Yeah. Page of Swords, King of Pentacles. Because somebody sees you, seven, <laughs> uh, three of wands, seven of swords. Somebody does see that you're at a crossroads right now. The Empress. Somebody's at a crossroads right now when it comes to uh, love and money. There also might be somebody manifesting a relationship as well, but four of wands is also stable foundations. You're coming into stability in your life here. It's a manifesting for you, but there is some sort of deception when it comes to this expansion in your life. And I get that it really has to do with... Uh, karmic energy. There are people around you. Six of Cups. It might be somebody from your past here. There are people around you trying to um, manipulate your growth. Yeah, Emperor. Six of Cups. 
Side note, Sag, somebody's wanting to commit to you as well. There's an emperor that wants the empress. It's like as you, as you increase in social standing, not only are you coming into money, but it's like, you know, somebody has their eye on you because it's like, ooh, he or she's looking good. They're attracting a lot of attention. They're doing better for themselves. Now, is this somebody you want in your life? That's your decision. The emperor, yeah. The emperor, eight of wands. Somebody's wanting to communicate with you. They're at a crossroads because there are a lot of different um, options and there's some confusion right now, but the sun, uh, the fool, justice. If there was confusion before, if there was um, too many options before and somebody didn't know what to choose, they're starting to recognize that, that they need to free themselves, that there's going to be justice. Yeah, temperance, death card. Um, that's a lot of major arcana. That's five in a row. That's a huge, there's a major transformation happening here. You're going to get justice. It's almost like, Sag, when you like disconnect, because I know a lot of you have been dealing with a divine partner here, an emperor, empress, you know, uh, soulmate, um, you know, twin flame, whatever. It's like <laughs> you have money coming in, you have these blessings coming in, and when you pull back your energy and focus on that, suddenly here comes the masculine wanting to communicate, blowing up your phone. Somebody didn't know what they wanted before and you pulled your back your energy. You went hermit and healed yourself. And as you did that, your divine counterpart mirrored that. The devil, they had some toxic ways to them. But there's going to be six of wands. There's going to be public victory. So you have to take it how it resonates because this can also be somebody, the emperor in a low vibration is somebody that wants to control another person at all costs. So, you know, this can also be somebody trying to manipulate you from growing, trying to, wanting to come in to uh, manipulate you to keep you from moving forward. You have to take it how it resonates. But I do get for some of you a, a masculine that you kind of um, pulled back from to focus on your own healing. It's like these financial blessings are coming towards you. You're focused on that. You don't even know that, you know, like a relationship is going to present itself as well. Yeah, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. What did I say? Ace of Wands. This is really great energy. I think you guys are my favorite so far. You have a new beginning in the physical. A lot of you with a, a soulmate type energy. You have somebody somebody new coming in. For a lot of you, um, you've separated from like a, a twin flame, a, a soulmate, or even a karmic. Somebody that was manipulative and trying to hold you back from expanding. You've released that person and you have somebody new coming in. You are um, blocking out this deception. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands. Blocking and overcoming uh, deception, lies, trickery. Somebody was very um, focused on themselves. They were all about themselves. They were very selfish and they would kind of manipulate you. You've uh, you've blocked that person out. You, you've stopped allowing that person to influence you because you're recognizing that this person only cares about themselves. They only talk about and think about themselves. That's all they care about. And because you're, you're recognizing the people you need to release in your life, you're making room for um, two of cups. Two of cups is a... Uh, yeah, you've seen the truth in the relationships you had. Two of Cups is a card of, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You um, have freed yourself from codependency here. And you're allowing, you were at a crossroads. You made the decision to choose yourself. And because you did that, you are manifesting somebody that wants to commit to you. Not only are you making like good moves financially, you have somebody coming in that wants to commit to you. Continue to block out people that are deceptive towards you. Ace of Cups, um, what I was saying, Two of Cups, is a card of I pour into you, you pour into me. So it's not only like, it's typically a soulmate romance card. Nine times out of ten is romance. But it can also point to fulfilling relationships. You know, releasing toxic friends allows room in your schedule to meet people that are actually like good for you and, and make, helps you realize who is good for you. Because often a toxic friend is very possessive. They're jealous and they talk shit about other people. So, you know, oh, I met this new person. They're really cool. I really like them. Mm, I don't know. I don't think you should hang out with them. Or let me, you know, invite them. And then you're a toxic friend is shitty to them the whole time. And they don't want to hang out with you anymore because they get the bad, get a bad impression about you. 
again, being careful about what you're putting your time and energy into, Sag, because I do get that a lot of eyes are gonna be on you and a lot of people are gonna be looking at you and people are gonna be appreciating your good heart. Don't allow other people to, uh, to um, manipulate how you're viewed. And you know the, the way that you um, present yourself is really influenced by the people that you allow into your life as well as how you're perceived by others. If all of your best friends are gossips, if they're mean, if they're nasty, if they talk bad about you, that reflects poorly on you as well. You know, it's better just to go hermit mode and, and pull back from people than be friends with everybody. That's not great because then that looks like, you know, you, it looks, it reflects poorly. It makes it look, <laughs> don't mind to me. Um, it makes it look like, you know, you don't have your shit together. You run with people like that. You must be like that too. Or you're a pushover, which pushovers don't don't earn respect from other people. They don't. Mm -mm. A pushover is a doormat. That's the bottom of the barrel. And that's not saying that you're a bad person, but that's saying that that's not how you win respect from others is by having no backbone. That's how you lose respect. Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, you have a new love that's coming in. Yeah, five of pentacles, the world. And it's because you have completed cycles and you've ghosted somebody. Somebody that was trying to manipulate you and keep you from moving forward, you started to recognize this person doesn't actually appreciate me. I'm gonna go towards people that do. You freed yourself from somebody that was toxic and codependent here and they're hurting. They're hurting because you're gonna have a new love coming you have a, a new opportunity in love and it's going to hurt this person to see you be loved by somebody else, but that's too bad. Yeah, your spirit team, temperance, ace of swords, uh, two of cups, your spirit team has revealed the truth to you that you deserve somebody that pours back into you. That isn't just take, take, and take. Everything's about me. Eight of cups. Yeah, you walked away from somebody recently, Sag, that... Um, it was a one-sided relationship and they drained you. And not only did this person drain you, they were secretly jealous of you and they would try to sabotage you. They would try to sabotage you. They either, um, cause it's, it's eighth house here. So it's, you know, things hidden, the occult. So it could be somebody played with spell work and tried to keep you from moving forward. You know, tried to hurt your finances, tried to prevent new love from coming into your life. But it's also, you know, um, sexual binding. This could have been like a somebody that you dealt with that they were very selfish and all about them, but they would, you know, use sex to try to control you. They would, you know, anytime you try to walk away from this person, they, they needed to have closure. You know, they needed to have sex one more time, one last time. And, you know, they would digmatize you. <laughs> They would put it on you to try to keep you from moving forward. But page of uh, wands, too bad. You broke free. You broke free from the shackles. <laughs> you broke free from this person trying to, um, yeah. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. While you were trying to collaborate with them, while you were trying to build something with them, they were in and out of your life with a third party. They were giving time and attention to a third party. They were juggling multiple different options. Uh, chariot. You have moved away from that person. Um, I did a, I started to do a reading and then I had to restart it. And then that card, there was an astrology card that came out that looked like the chariot. I was about to grab it and then it wasn't there. <laughs> the chariot could be dealing with a cancer or a Scorpio king of cups. You're moving straight into the arms of somebody that is going to love you. Is going to love you. It's a tower. Yeah. Tower hanged man, five of swords. For this person that was trying to hang on to you, that was all stuck in their ego, thought that they were hot shit, uh, it's going to be a tower for them. They're going to be heartbroken over it. It's because this person was cold and manipulative. King of Swords could be an Aquarius. This person was cold towards you. So uh, you were like, all right, goodbye. Cold back. Will of, Will of Fortune. There's a turn in fate here. You uh, ghosted fuckboy, fuckboy in and out of your life, playing you, juggling you with a bunch of other people, trying to make you feel bad. And it's like when you tried to move on, when you tried to go towards anything that would benefit your life, here they come back. 
you uh, let that person go. You left that person out in the cold and now you're gonna be coming into money and a relationship and they wanna come back. Yeah, they're wanting to come back and talk to you after dealing with a third party. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> what did I say? This person used sex to try to control you. They did. They they knew that you had a lot of passion for them. So, you know, they would express their love to you through sex. But this person was sex and everybody here. Yeah, uh, game over. It's game over for them. You're done accepting their games. You're having self-control here and you're completing a karmic cycle so that you can expand in your life. And as you do, your popularity is going to improve because you're not putting all of your time and energy into somebody that's treating you shitty. When you do that, you just have somebody siphoning your energy. When somebody is dealing with a fuck boy situation, a fuck girl situation, a relationship, you know, somebody in and out of their life that treats them shitty, it's like they're just doom and gloom. They always are like, they don't feel good. They don't look good. They're always on their phone trying to see if that person's talking to them, checking that person's social media. They're not really fun to be around, you know? And, and that's just the reality of the situation. You're not really fun to be around when you're hung up on somebody that's treating you bad because all you want to talk about is that person. You constantly are like bringing that person up and your friends are rolling their eyes. Can we please move on? You're not allowing yourself to have any fun because you're too worried about what they're doing, when they're going to message you. You get what I'm saying? It, it's a drain on you. So you're like, you know what? Pulling back all of my energy and I'm just going to have fun with my life and I'm going to expand and put my focus into improving myself. And people are noticing you and appreciating it here. And now, like I said, as this like money comes into you, as you start to get your ships come in and you start to do well financially, here they come. They want to talk now. They want to message you. This person was all about themselves and dealing with third parties before. This is a twin flame that you were dealing with. Somebody's dealing with a, a twin flame. Now they want commitment. Now, uh, now they're all about you. They're all about you. This person is super manipulative, guys. You are meant to be a, a boss. You're meant to be a leader. You're meant to be somebody that is influential to others. Your light is needed in the world and you are aligning with that. You know, you don't need a boss cannot be with somebody that is sabotaging their every move through dark energy, through sex. And that is, how embarrassing is that? You know, how embarrassing is that? You are the boss. You got shit going on. You are, you know, the breadwinner. And here, the person that is supposed to be your partner is like lusting after other people that's engaging with other people. That's embarrassing here. Yeah, they know that the karmic they were dealing with is uh, shitty, is a trash monster, is abusive. They uh, abandoned you for a third party that treated them bad. And now they're having a rough time and wanting to come back to you. They want union after they see your glow up. They start stalking you. And for some of them, they have an STD. Some of them have an STD that are having experiencing health issues now because of this karmic they were dealing with. Too bad. Too bad. So sad. Too late. Uh, Sad. So keep moving forward. A lot of you have new... You have... Uh, a lot of you are going to be getting promoted. I'm getting promotions and I get specifically, I don't know why it's like really strong in my energy for a lot of you over the holiday season, um, Halloween leading into, you know, New Year's, I get a lot of you are going to be meeting people, um, you know, make sure that I know it's hard with COVID, obviously, like don't go places that are going to put your health at risk, but if you can be safe, you know, Try to open yourself up to meeting new connections because you're going to be aligning with a lot of people that appreciate what you do and, and are going to be helpful on your path in some way. And for some of you, you're uh, going to be meeting a new love interest soon. A new love interest is coming in. And once you know you meet that new love interest, here comes your uh, shitty old twin flame. <laughs> Suddenly, you know, they're ready. They're ready to settle down with you now that they see you. Uh, being appreciated by others, making money, and somebody else loving you. That's, nope, too late. Too late. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. I'll see you again soon. Bye.